Hello friends this is Keval Shah here from Afflio Group So in this video we will cover a very important topic which is largely ignored by everyone that is scomet So every time you ship your goods outside India your logistics team would be giving a scomet declaration to your CHA without even knowing what scomet exactly is and how this scomet declaration if proved wrong can be dangerous for your export business Also nowadays the customs authorities have started strict checking with respect to scomet and hence it becomes necessary for all the exporters to understand the concept of scomet in detail in order to stay compliant So after watching this video you will be very clear about what is scomet how to identify whether your export item is falling in the scomet list or not where and how to apply what are the documents required and finally what are the penal provisions in place if the scomet compliance is not followed so let's get started and i request you to please watch this video till the end so what is scomet scomet is a short form the full form of scomet is special chemicals organisms materials equipments and technologies it means that if you are exporting any special chemical or organism or material or equipment or technology which has which are dual use items having potential for both civilian application as well as weapons of mass destruction then export of those product is restricted and you will need a special scomet authorization to export those products now let me explain you the meaning of the word dual use by way of an example consider pumps do you think that pumps can be included in the scomet list the answer is yes the image shows that certain types of pumps are included in the scomet list which can have a possible application in the weapons of mass destruction so i hope till now you are clear what is scomet and the meaning of the word dual use in the next section let us understand why scomet and export control is required I hope you can see the image in the background. The image shows a Mercedes armored vehicle which is a potential dual use scomet item is used by the leader of North Korea Kim Jong Un. Now everybody knows that North Korea is in the sanctions list of the UN. And if such a big vehicle can fall in wrong hands imagine about the special chemicals or organisms or technology. Therefore it is necessary to control the export of such sensitive dual use items. Also India is party to a lot of multilateral export control regimes such as the Wassenaar arrangement Australia group and is also adherent to the nuclear supply group that is NSG. Therefore it is a responsibility of India to control the export of such sensitive items. The entire scomet list is divided into 8 categories as per the image. From the image it can be seen that to apply for a scomet license under category 0 products application is to be made to the Department of Atomic Energy. For all the items under category 6 the application is to be made to the Department of Defense Production Ministry of Defense. For all the other items in the other categories leaving category 0 and 6 the application for grant of a scomet authorization is to be made to the dgft office online now an important question might be running through your mind that is how to identify whether your export item is covered in the scomet list or not here please note that the list of scomet items is given in appendix 3 to schedule 2 of ITC HS classification of export and import items this list is not a simple hs code wise list it is a little difficult to identify and hence proper study of this document is required with respect to your product category one important thing to note here is that even if your final export product is not falling in the scomet list but one or more components out of which it is made is there in the scomet list in such case also if the components form the principal element of the final product 
and can be easily separated from the final product and can be used for other purposes such items will also require a scomet authorization also the government has inserted an interesting clause as per para 2.72b of hbp it states that if the exporter is exporting a product which is not covered in the scomet list and if the exporter knows or has a reason to believe that such export items can be used or has a potential use in or diver- diversion to the weapons of mass destruction or their missile military systems then such export items will also require a scomet authorization the application for grant of a scomet authorization is to be made to the dgft office online and it is processed by the inter ministerial working group that is imwg under the chairmanship of the additional dgft in charge of the export at dgft headquarters new delhi the imwg meets every month and decide on the applications on a case to case basis the major documents required are the first is the end user certificate in prescribed format the euc certificate is required on the letterhead of all the entities involved in the supply chain that is the foreign buyer the consignee all the intermediaries and the end user the second important document is purchase order or contract copy if any the third is the technical specification of the export item along with its application and other basic kyc documents of the applicant the approval of a scomet authorization is subject to pre license checks through various agencies and india's missions abroad these licenses are also subject to post verifications generally after applying for a scomet authorization it takes around 2 to 3 months time for processing it and the scomet authorizations comes with a validity of 2 years as per the type of sale that is if there are repeat orders or if you want to export a scomet item for the purpose of demo display exhibition or it is an intra company transfer the scomet authorization are of the following types as shown in the image <clears throat> now this topic is so big that a separate video can be created on each type of the scomet authorization therefore we will con- complete this in the subsequent videos we request all our viewers and exporters not to take the matter of scomet lightly as it has very dangerous penal provisions which are taken from the weapons of mass destruction act as per the image it can be seen that the penalty for substantial violation for the first time is between inr 3 lakhs to 20 lakhs and for the second time for a substantial violation the penalty is an impris- imprisonment of 6 months to 5 years in addition to the fine above also the penalty for a false statement is inr 5 lakh to 5 times of the value of the goods whichever is higher therefore please be very careful before giving the scomet declaration to your cha v at afleo group are a team of customs and dgft experts having a rich experience of 10 plus years in the field of exim consultancy and international logistics freight forwarding with our vast knowledge experience and physical presence in delhi we can represent your case in front of the scomet committee and get it cleared in a smooth and hassle free manner we also have a great expertise in handling post export scomet cases that is such cases in which the export has already been done and then you have received a notice from the customs stating to comply with the scomet rules so please do get in touch with us for any of your requirements and our team would be happy to help you please let us know if you have any doubts in the comment section and lastly i would request everyone to share this video with your other industry friends trade associations relevant whatsapp groups as this video might help them as well thank you